I'm Pete with SparkFun Electronics and this is Todd Hughes with Mountain Molding. And we are hanging out today because we're actually working on a custom molded part for this new SparkFun kit. This right here is just a prototype I have in my hands, but the game is called Simon Tilts and it's very similar to Simon Says, but instead of pressing buttons, you actually rotate the device to see the pattern. So today we're gonna go through how we're gonna actually make this little tilt sensor. And it's actually pretty amazing how much time and energy goes into making the tool to make this happen. Just this small little plastic part is gonna be injected molded here at uh, Mountain Molding. So basically this guy, we're gonna cut out a cavity, right? Um, yes. And then there's another one that comes together and they sandwich together to yeah, make a nice... This is a little bit more of a unique mold. We're, um, we're gonna actually stand it up in some slides and it'll be standing on a core pin and uh, it'll be sleeve ejected off the core pin. So right now, um, we're working on the A side of the tool. Um, it's cutting the overlock pockets and starting a location for the cam pin holes and soon be cutting uh, the sprue. Um, so this, this is part of the mold base process. The mold base is considered to be basically a foundation and be comparable to the foundation on your house. You gotta have a good mold base, have a good house. So there's a drill going on in there right now and it's right, also right spraying. Now it's, uh, we're using a quarter inch end mill to uh, finish cut some pockets for the overlocks. These are overlocks. Um, we're gonna stand your part up into the mold like this and it'll actually be sprue gated right down this, the face of the slide and then go over and your part will be on the inside here. When the mold opens, your part will be stand, free standing on a core pin and that's where that ejector sleeve will come up and remove the part from the pin. Um, because of the size of the detail, um, we went ahead and made some electrodes. An electrode is, um, this is, it's, it's almost like a centered material. It basically the consistency of, um, the easiest way to explain it is like sandpaper. Sandpaper has different grits. This carbon graphite has different grits. And the way it works is that the spark jumps from the electrode, erodes the steel instantaneously, and it's, it looks like an electrical storm is happening, but it's actually one spark at a time. These machine, these, these electrodes go in an EDM machine um, on location, and they erode the steel, burn the shake into the steel. I'm here with Warren, and he's the tech on the injection molding machine here today. So we're gonna we're gonna do like a, a setup on the actual molds, and then we're gonna run some plastic through this beast and uh, make our custom molded part. So uh, Warren, can you tell me what's going on with these two parts right here? All right, you got the A half here and the B half. And you gotta have both of them in order to make your part. You got two slides that'll come together to form the insert that you need to, to make the part in the inside. So I wanna put both of these in and we're gonna shoot the plastic in. And so can you show me where the plastic actually shoots in? The plastic will come through here, which is the nozzle seat. It comes right through the sprue right here, through the center. And then it will shoot in through here. And uh, the plastic will come down and make the part in this area here. Look at that massive amount of metal. Took all that engineering and crazy tool work. We're going to make a part that's like this big. We're going to have some pretty sweet red parts here pretty soon. Yes. That is a finished product. Looking pretty sweet. We don't have any uh, imperfections at all. Nice and smooth on the top and bottom there. We'll be putting these into the Simon Tilts kit. <laughs> 